And it's always up in the air with the weather, but you have been assuring us all morning, Sam, that's going to be good today. Yeah, no, we're set for perfection for the Air Force Academy, the cadets for graduation, or just to view it. If you want to come on in from Pueblo, a lot of people do actually, and then there's people, those enthusiasts from Denver that come on down, or if you're in Colorado Springs, doesn't matter. You should have really nice weather for it today. We'll be in the 50s going into the lunch hour and then through the afternoon. We'll stay right at about 57 at the Academy, but then through Colorado Springs, we're going to try to get to about 60 by the time we get to one o'clock. And so Definitely feeling a little bit more of that warmth across the south end of town. If you're going up north and then to the west side of town, you'll just be a little cooler. But we're going to be clear for the Thunderbirds. And there's that new snow on Pikes Peak that'll make the visibility fantastic. Got a couple more photos of the Thunderbirds practicing yesterday. I'll show in, oh, about a half hour from now. We're going to transition to a hot and windy weekend. And we have limited rain chances coming our way over the extended forecast. Let's get a, re a kind of a read on where we are to start. Woodland Park is one of the chillier spots on the map at 27, although sensor is having a little issue, but Westcliff is reading like 24. Through most of the morning, we're in the 40s from Springs to Pueblo, about 40 for most of our cities out east of the plains. And in the algae report, the recent moisture has knocked the pollens down quite a bit, but when they flare up today, there'll be tree pollens at a little bit more moderate level. Highs today are in the 60s and 70s, fairly widespread. And as we get over to your overnight lows, we'll have 40 and some 30s coming back, but those of you planting and gardening your flowers and vegetables, they should be all right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Super 7 days. So, not really much after today to break down. The next kind of big thing to look forward to, I think, is out towards next week. So, next Monday and Tuesday, your temperatures will sit around 80, but then the wind picks up. Now, if we have weeks of wind, our recent rain and snow will really go away. We'll lose that beneficial moisture because the wind helps evaporate it out of the ground. But I think we've bought ourselves a little while of fire danger not being as prevalent. In Pueblo, we're hotter. We're going to be in the 80s and the 90s over the seven day stretch, but the winds won't really get that strong till Monday and Tuesday. So I think that we'll see a green up behind the moisture we just got, especially with sunshine, and that's going to help limit fire concerns. In Pueblo, or in Canyon City, excuse me, we're not quite as hot as Pueblo, but we do see a 90 coming our way on Saturday. We'll stay very windy through Monday and Tuesday. Finally, Woodland Park. So we know we're going to be a little cooler, but still super comfortable going out to the extended forecast. And then on Tuesday of next week, we're trying to find an isolated storm, but most of the energy does seem to be a little bit farther up near Denver or the northern mountains.